What is up guys, welcome back to our video. Today is March 19th, 2020. Um, another day of no school or online school or whatever. Um, so had plenty of time to go fishing. Right now I'm about to head to Delaware River. Fingers crossed, I'll cut some stripers, go with my brother, and my mom's gonna take us down there. Just have a nice day camping out on the riverside. Um, it's around one o'clock now. Probably should be fishing around 1.45 or so. I'm um, gonna be using some blood worms. Stop at, uh, I don't know what bait shops are around there, but we'll stop at a bait shop, get some blood worms, toss them out, and um, hopefully catch some fish, aiming for, I don't know, I'm gonna say four fish, we're pretty optimistic. If we get above that, I know there've been catches of dozens of fish, but I'm not gonna know how much time I'm gonna have. Could have an hour, could have four hours. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'll see you guys out on the river. I'm stoked, first time fishing on the river this year. I got four rods. Maybe run into one big fish, but probably early this season. Just gonna be mostly uh, small schoolies and rats. So we'll see you out there, guys. All geared up, and I'll uh, see you guys on the water. Peace. All right, guys, just got to the spot. Took a little bit of a hike to get down here, but uh, there's my brother back there. And we just picked up some blood worms. Got about a dozen of them for a few. $20, so. I don't know, kind of a deal, but they're nice worms. Pretty foggy, so we're gonna cast out, guys. Um, yeah, never fished here before. We'll see what we can do. Um, always like fishing new spots up for a little bit of an adventure, so see what we can do here. Make some casts, and uh, yeah, hopefully cut some fish. That's the goal for the day. All right, dude. All right, guys, beating up right now. This is the smallest rod, smallest rig for today. Just a little piece of blood worm right here. Gonna thread that up a lot. A little high-low rig right here. A little bit of worm hanging off. These are real nice blood worms. And uh, hopefully the stripers feel the same way. All right, there we go. There's our rig. Centered out, bloody fingers. All right, now let's uh, make the first cast of the day. We'll see what happens here. All right, I think we're out. Now we just wait for fish, I guess. I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. One hour later. All right, what's up guys? Just got to the spot, rods are out, you can see. Um, just waiting on fish now. Um, we fished another spot for about an hour uh, with no luck, so I decided to move over here and see what we can do. Obviously hoping to catch fish. But a little discouraged after the first spot. The tide was low. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully catch some fish, maybe some, some big stripers, but I'll take anything at this point. Definitely deeper here. Oh, Brand, we got a bite. Brim, we got something. Dude, it's huge. Pretty sure it's a catfish though. Oh. I hope it's a striker, but I'm pretty sure it's a catfish. Dude, this thing just hit it. Very unexpected. Pretty sure it's a catfish though. Not our target species, but still fun to catch something out here. Definitely a catfish, dude. Oh. 
What? <laughs> oh my god. First fish of the day, guys. A little milk jug right there. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. That's Delaware River fishing for you right there. Dope. <laughs> Brand, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. That's a fish, that's a fish. Well, that one wasn't a fish. Fish on one. Hopefully not a milk jug. Feels big. Brand, watch that rod over there. Oh. I don't even know if there's a fish. Oh yeah, it is. Gonna be wrapped up on something. There we go. Got the just the fish now. What a freaking day. <laughs> River fishing is no joke. Feel small as so. baby striper. First one of the day, though. Awesome, a little tiny baby striper, guys. First fish of the day. Sick. Looks like a little pregnant or real hungry or something. Awesome. Inhaled that one blood worm. Finally found the fish. Dope. First the other one was a fish that I had, and then I just got snagged. So. Off to a good start. Switch, switch spots and pay it off real quick. There he goes, sick. Probably just gonna save some bait, cast this right back out there. Didn't really, I mean, tour of this blood worm right here, but that's about it. Cast back out and then we'll uh, see what happens. Later that same evening. All right guys, I'm on the third spot now. Here Anthony is hooking me up. Um, and this is a different spot, never fished here before for stripers. And um, yeah, hopefully incoming tide, he's saying bite should be better. Third spot I said, so we've been moving around quite frequently this afternoon. Um, it's gonna be our last shift, a little sun sh sunset shift. Still got some worms, so hoping to catch some bass, see what we can do. Like I said, anything will be, be good. Um, got one so far and two bites. So third spot's the charm. See what we can do, hopefully it's a good scent. All right, I'll check this. Maybe I lost my bait after that bite. Ah, oh, still got bait, I think. Oh yeah. Looks like a bite. Maybe my hook just got torn out of it, but a little beat up. That was out really far too. Yeah. That's why I was drifting so much, I think, because all the slack or all the line was out. I just child scissors. I don't know if that's a that's a fish. There. Oh. Too much. Still there.
That was very subtle. Yeah, it was just like a little, I thought it was a perch. Until I, I picked it up and I felt him jerking it. There we go though guys, first bite, right after sundown. Don't know if you can see that, but tore off the bloodworm right there. Still got enough bait to put it back out though. All right, first bite. Might be a little too dark to see, but again, back out there. It's got some fish. I will. guys first fish of the night after I just went over two with my two rods Anthony got a little striper over here micro <laughs> look at that little guy Ain't right, better than nothing though first bite of the night well first fish of the night I just went over two all right now it's my turn, hopefully. Fish on, guys. Feels like a little one, but just hail the blood one. Here we go, guys. First fish of the night. Chunky, chunky striper right there. A ton of these guys around right now. That is my third bite. First fish. And third fish of the night. Anthony's got two. Look at that chunk. Wow, insane. All right. Let him go. White is definitely hot right now. Peace. Like I showed you guys before, this is all we're using right here. Just a little blow on a dropper loop rig, 14 pound fluoro, two ounce bank sinkers, and just always wait for that incoming tide, and there you go. Nothing until then, and as soon as the tide switch, started banging them. Up until then. All right guys, yeah, that is gonna be end for this video. Um, Fortunately, three other things happened that night. Number one, caught more fish. You guys will see right here. Yeah, we caught a few stripers, um, even one little perch and a few catfish too. A ton of fun out there. Um, caught a ton more fish after, unfortunately the GoPro died and my phone died. So that was pretty bummed out about that. But um, yeah, we did make the most of it, fished till probably 10 o'clock, caught a ton of little fish out there. Um, I had I had one big fish on, I don't know, might have been like mid 20 striper, 20 inches. Um, that was a ton of fun, but yeah, overall a good night fishing. Um, caught, caught more fish through a long day of grinding out there in the afternoon, um, just chucking bloodworms, just getting pretty solid bites all night. So thanks for Anthony for showing me that new spot and uh, just giving me all around more technique tips. Um, that was a blast. And uh, yeah, guys, look forward to more videos like this throughout the, the spring run, I guess. Um, since I have new school, just a lot more time to fish and edit, basically. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video.